Same rules applies. Doing the same problem. I made up this problem. I'm not using a problem from the book. That's why I, I made the mistake. So you have 1 over 623, right? Still, guys, are you still going to want to take the cube root of 64 squared? It's just not going to be fun, right? So well, there's another way that we can think about this. We look at 64, and I recognize that I know, hey, 64 is a square number, right? Correct? 64 is a square number. That's perfect. So I can represent 64 as um, 8 squared. So now let's take a look at this. If I, re if I replaced 8 squared as negative 2 thirds, then I'd have 8 times 2 over 1 times negative 2 over 3. Right? Because you'd multiply the fractions. Now that's, now that's cool, but then that just turns it to a negative 4 thirds. Not really still helping me out. What power do you think would be nice? Do you guys agree with me? If I could rewrite, if I could rewrite this to the third power, then the threes would divide out. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see how the threes would divide out? So can I rewrite 64 as a number to the third power? Four to the third power. And that was the problem with my last 81. You can't write to the third power. I was thinking in my math, I should have done fourth. I should have done a denominator of 4 for that one. So in this example, watch what happens. When I write this as 4 to the third power raised to the negative 2 thirds, all I did was rewrote 64 as 4 cubed. Do you guys agree with me that still works? I'm sorry? 4 cubed is 64. Right. No, 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 I forget about 8. Well, 8 squared is 64 as well, right? So what I'm trying to tell you is there was two, there was two things you guys could have transformed it into. But that's, uh, the reason why I wrote both is because 8 squared doesn't really help your problem. It doesn't really help you fix this. This gives you negative 4 over 3. That's still not going to simplify the answer. But watch. When I do it this way, I get 4, 3 over 1 times negative 2 thirds. What happened with my 3's? Now my 3's divide to 1, leaving me with 4 to the negative third power, which is equivalent to 1 over 4 to the third power. I'm sorry, to the second, right? Which is equal to 1 over 16. So my simplified answer is 1 over 16 without the use of a calculator. So all I'm saying is, yes, a lot of students are, the, thing, the reason why I showed 8, 64, uh, 8 squared is because when people see 64, they most always think 8 squared, right? Because you're very used to doing 8 squared is 64. But what I'm telling you is, you want to look at whatever the denominator is. Whatever the denominator is, that's the power you want to write your number to. Does that make sense? So for instance, if I had 81 to the 1 fourth power, what would I want to write 81 to? I'd want to write a number to the fourth power, right? So the 4's would divide out, which this is 3 to the fourth power to the 1 fourth, which is equal to 3. Answer, done. See how quick that was? So as long as you can write your, your exponent to the same power as the denominator of what it's being raised to, you can simplify it. Anybody have any questions on that? All right. Hmm, interesting. Asking how to improve his grades and then texting while teaching. It's OK. You actually don't need your phone out at all. You can actually put that away.